<laughs> week one. How about that, Carmen? Titans. Welcome. Yeah. Welcome to the NFL season. Welcome to the NFL Welcome season. Welcome to my the NFL season, my yeah. friend. We, I'm very excited about this. The, I had my son do a fantasy draft for me. I had two youngsters of the Trevinovich family do a draft for me the other day. They become my partners in this thing because I was gone. I was in Espana. And tonight, I finally get to put my knowledge to the test. You have a draft? I have a draft tonight with some big wigs from the Crown Point area. Is that right? Movers and shakers of the world. Let me let you, I'm letting you know that right now. It's officially One of the top season. 100 cities, by the way, in America, if you'd ever heard that. By whose rankings? Uh, you know how they do them fancy rankings where Naperville used to be up there all the time. U.S. News and World yeah, Report or somebody. something crazy yeah. like that. You know, somebody decided to take a poll. Yep. That well, kind of thing. But yeah, I'm excited. It's here. We're down to two. Is it two or three? What do we, we have? We, have, three, we have three lists left. Beautiful. Today, tomorrow, and Thursday. We'll still do a list on and Thursday. We got NFL football on Thursday. We got it on Friday. We, we got, got college on Saturday. Yes. We got NFL football on Sunday. On Monday. Oh, my heavens. I mean, once we get to Thursday, we're off and running, my friend. I hope all the husbands in the world. I know, listen, women, I know women love football. Yes. I know they watch football. I know the NFL has made a concerted effort to go ahead and get the young ladies in the world to take interest in what we call the great game of uh, football out there. We know that. But hopefully all the husbands out there, and you've seen this probably. I've seen on, it all over social media. On Snapchat. Media. Yeah, you've yeah, seen yeah. it out there on that where the husband goes and he yeah. writes a letter to the wife, letting yes. know that he's not going to be available from certain times until from February. now until <laughs> you know, beginning of March, basically. Because you need two weeks to detox also. Well, listen. The two weeks after the Super Bowl, you need to detox from the NFL season. Once, the, like I said, Thursday rolls around. There's NFL on Thursday. This week, there's NFL on Friday. There's also college on Friday. There's yeah. college on Saturday. There's NFL on Sunday. There's NFL on Monday. Come Christmas Day, the NFL's like, screw the NBA and everybody else. We're doing a Wednesday. We're a Wednesday doubleheader on Christmas. Oh, oh and in December, of course, Saturday, NFL games start uh, before bowl season, you know, or right between, I guess, the end of college football and the start of bowl season. It's never ending, my friend. Yeah. There's a lot of it, but we love we it. Love we it. love football. We love it. We have high hopes for the Bears. We love it. The Bears are four point favorites this week against I'm not the Titans surprised. at home. I am not surprised at uh, home. A totally remade and revamped uh, Titans defense, a new coach coming at an you. entire new secondary, basically. Yep. Uh, a quarterback that I, I don't know we'll at times. Carm. Yeah. We'll have us. Like at times, kind of. Piqued your interest a little bit he, last year, but then that, a lot of the other time was like, eh, I don't know about Will Levis. Well, I mean, don't listen. If the Bears beat the Tennessee Titans, are you guys going to complain about who they beat? No. Okay. No. I mean, Will Levis is NFL quarterback. Somebody's no. deemed him a starter in this league, right? The only time I think I'll I'll say that you didn't really beat anybody is like the week they play the Patriots. I, I don't know. I mean, the Patriots. Well, it doesn't matter to me. Like, it doesn't matter to me either. I didn't put a football team out there. Barely. I, think. I, I played with guys that, that, that have taken snaps in this league. That sometimes would make you scratch your head as to why they're taking snaps. You know, in this like league. I don't, I wouldn't qualify it as like there's they're playing a patsy on yeah. Sunday. I I wouldn't oh, say hell that. no, no, it's, I wouldn't say that. Not, not in the NFL. Again, they were one of the most active teams in the entire offseason. Now, uh, as you and know. Mac used to always say, don't confuse activity yeah. with accomplishment. With accomplishment. Yeah. But the Titans were one of the very most active teams in the offseason up until a couple of weeks ago when they were still signing guys. Yeah. Uh, just. Just looking to trying add to former make your veteran team players better. that they could buy low on. Yeah. Trying to make your team better. That's what they're trying to do. You're trying to make your team better. And I tell you, when you get a position group and you, and you got the guys there and the guys start counting numbers, the NFL does not care. If I've got eight guys, in the you know, uh, 12 guys that are trying out for the team and I only got three guys that can play above the NFL standard for the position, we will go out and find guys like they did with the defensive line. They did that. The Bears did. Yeah. They said, hey, I don't have enough interior linemen here. I need to get one because the guys that are here are not getting the job done. Then they did the defensive end. They looked at it and says, you know what? Yeah, that's the same I got thing. Two young I know. kids that are on the come. Uh, they're not ready yet. I got some veteran guys here that aren't getting the job done. Uh, we're going to release these guys. We're going to bring a guy in. We're going to bring a guy in. That's how the NFL works. Don't look around and say, hey, we all, you know, we, we six of us got to make it. Nope, nope, nope. And you saw the way the Bears constructed their team, right? As of last Tuesday, they put that together. And they've did. been piecing it together. Yeah. You saw what they did. Hey, the only surprise to me on the 53 is what we were saying all along, and that's Valus Jones. I, I'm going to tell you this. Valus right has, uh, ha, occupies a, a tender, soft spot somewhere, somewhere in the, the four-chamber heart of Ryan Poles. Ryan Poles. And I, I'm a little amazed that he's on this team. I don't know what the... 
the feature, the function is going to be, yeah. but we'll see. If he can contribute, great. Ryan Poles has done a remarkable job of what he did from the beginning saying we're going to blow this thing up, the trade that ended up getting another first-rounder that turned into Caleb Williams, the DJ Moore thing, the getting Darnell right. He's done a phenomenal job, Carm. Good article in the Sun-Times yeah, today it, about like yeah. the, the process. He hasn't the, been 100%. The last couple of years. He hasn't been 100%, but yeah. guess what? As a general manager, you're never going to be 100%. No, never. Every once in a while, you're going to throw one in the dirt, right? Yeah. And it's not going to work out for you, right? Yes, I would agree. All I want to say in my life, my life goals, I want to find me somebody to love that loves me as much as Ryan Poles loves Valus Jones Jr. That's Amen. it. Amen. That's my one goal. We should all be so lucky. We should all be so lucky <laughs> that we had somebody love us as much as Ryan Poles loves Valus Jones Jr. Yeah. I don't know what's going on there. I don't know. I don't know what kind of relationship that two of those guys have. None. I don't know. I have no knowledge of the relationship those two have together, but the love Ryan Poles has for J Valus Jones Jr has got to be something magical. It's a special one. And I don't even know if my mother, Sweet Zlata, loves me as a, as a ute, a little chubby, fat ute, a cherubic, little, fat, chunky kid in her arms. I don't even know if my mother loved me as much as Ryan Poles loves Valus Jones Jr., okay? Yeah. So I'm going to say, okay, he's here. I saw it. I was in Spain. I looked at it. I just said, I, I said, hey. don't get it. But it's not so mine to, to my get. Patanegra ham. It's not mine to get. You were in the in the juiced up tomatoes, <laughs> oh, kid. The best. And on that that baguette bread. I told you. Oh my lord! But I don't know how can good. ham and tomatoes taste I, I so good. I don't it's know. Amazing. I don't know. But they did. Okay. But I saw it and I said, they must know more than I do. At some point, you just suspend disbelief. I, I, I don't know. You step away. I don't and think you so. Said, they actually. must know. But, <laughs> I don't think so. But for the love of God know. and everything holy. Okay, love of God and everything holy that's out there. Let Valus Jones Jr. Don't, cause this team one say, loss this year. Don't say it. Let Valus Jones Jr. cost this team one loss with a drop pass, with a fumble at an inopportune time. I worry more with about a muff fumble. Punt. Yeah, or muff with punt. anything, Carm. All right? Yeah. Let Valus Jones Jr. I will be the first one outside of Hallis Hall. Calling for the resignation of one Ryan. Oh, no, stop it now! You're the resignation of one yeah, Ryan Paul. One extreme to the other. Okay, that's what we're gonna get. You didn't want to be up there when you had shows. You're gonna travel yeah, up I, there the, the, to be the, the first special. one to say fire for Ryan Paul's just because special. they kept the uh, Valus. Only if Valus Jones Jr. <laughs> cost the Chicago Bears a no, football game. No, that's not gonna year. stop. Now, I will guarantee that if that happens, you will not spend a Monday morning driving up the hell of I'll be crashing through the gates doing 98. Say, let them <laughs> truckers roll 10-4. We're coming through. Ain't nobody going to stop the good kid from getting to the front gates of Hallis Hall. All right. All right? Well, let's hope that doesn't happen. Well, I mean, yeah. I said if. 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 I Listen, don't even know what the role is going to be. We'll see. Ryan uh, Poles knows these guys more than I do. I, he does. He Whether made I the like team as a wide receiver, which after all is said and done, is kind of strange. Yeah. yeah. The move to running back. Yeah. And I, I don't. I don't know. But it's icky. I got an icky feeling on my body. But that's okay. We but we don't have many icky right. feelings around that's this team right no, now. They're mostly don't. positive. They're, you know, it had to be mentioned. I was thousands of miles away when this came through the pipeline. Yeah. Thousands of miles away. I saw it. And I just put my head down and I said, if he doesn't cost this game, it's it's a non-factor. It's really a non-factor. Uh, That's I'm, what this is. It's non-factorial. We'll talk uh, a, a lot non -factor. about we'll talk a lot about the game, some of the specific matchups. girls. Some okay? of the specific matchup stuff with uh, Tom Thayer when he joins us at about 135. Thayer's gonna be with us every week, uh, every game week during the NFL We're season. We're talking to him every week. We're talking to Thayer every week, yes. Short straw. Oh, yeah. stop. How dare you? The best. No, I'm joking. Of course, we he's love He's got to be happy. We should talk to him fighting about his Irish, Irish too. Yeah, fighting Irish. That Texas was impressive. A Texas A&M, right? Yes. It went down. Yeah, they gigged them. Maybe a little right? bit more, less impressive from the A&M side. But they gigged them? Isn't that what it is? Gig them? Gig them. I don't know what that means. You don't know what gig them is when you go after a frog. That's what they do down with Texas A&M, the Aggies. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, come on. I don't, you I don't know, that. know that. I don't know. That I don't know. We used to have the girl that was the executive assistant up there, Hannah Storm. What was her name? Remember Hannah up there that used to work upstairs? I do. Definitely not Hannah Storm. She had a Texas A&M background. Okay. Uh, I, didn't know, I, I did not oh, know that. yeah. Okay. Come on. Well, we'll talk to Thayer about all that. I have a question I know the answer to. It's going to be a silly question. Uh, are you looking forward to tonight's episode of... I can barely say it without laughing. Are you looking forward to tonight's episode of Hard Knocks? Those, that's not done yet? I, is tonight the last night, thankfully? 
Yes. Thank God. It's not done yet. Holy cow. Oh, it's the last you, one. Did you watch last week's? Now, you were gone. Did you skip gone. it? No. I, Be I, thankful. What am I? Miracle Man? I can't. I was trying to watch Real Madrid play. Do you know uh, that? It's just terrible. I mean. What, what, what was it? What was last terrible. week? What was you last You know, the week? no swearing and the yeah. complete uh, editorial control. The Bears basically saying, yeah, you wanted to be here. Fine. You'll get nothing. It must, you know, have, been, Ian, it must have been the same editorial control Aaron yeah. Rodgers had over the book that Ian O'Connor wrote for him. Mm. Yeah. But we'll talk uh, about that later you on. You know, Elian Wheeler was a big part of the episode, even before the, the injury. Back, right? yeah. 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 Remember, he got into a fight at camp. They didn't show it. I mean, it's terrible. It really, it's uh, it's shameful. It's, it's awful. Uh, just awful. But and, only and because, I don't know. I mean, like, are we because, supposed to do the Dr. Pepper post game nice. show tonight? Yes. Yeah. yeah well, I'll yeah. be there. Oh, Carm, are you going to be there? I'll be there, Carm. I'm you and I were on I'm, fire I'm, the other night. I might for miss it tonight. No, you had fun. I might miss it. It was a lot of fun. You had to have a good time. I'm breaking right, a game down. tonight anyway, so I'll I'm going to be a little bit late. Draft. What kind of game do you got tonight? We have a baseball game tonight. Again? Yeah, baseball's this. back. Hey, baseball's back. I thought back. it was football season. It's a football season for a lot of kids, I mean, and for the, the kids that play on? baseball, it's still baseball season. What's going we on? we got two months left of nice weather in our climate, boys, at this degree of latitude. How many? Uh, how we have two more months. How many Don Drysdales? We get to play outside. How many Don Drysdales you got on this squad? Not enough. Put it that way. I why, mean, why, why Don just, Drysdale? Yeah, yeah, how do I you mean, go Don a, Drysdale? A famous pitcher. I mean, is how many Drysdales? Good is Don Drysdale? I'm asking, how many Drysdales you got on this team? Not enough. We could use a few more. So Nolan Ryan's. I, I don't know that I will be uh, tuned in. If I do, I'll watch it late. I don't know if I'll hop on the, the post game. Hey, it's uh, been terrible. I want to notify everybody that the good kid shot at 94 this morning. No, I mean, got back last cares. night at 7 p.m. Nobody from cares. Spain. This morning, up at 5 a.m., we're at the uh, Village Links of Glen Ellen. Oh, I played that. That's a nice great course. track. 18th yeah. hole got a lake right in the middle of it's the fairway. It's a great call, call. What the hell's it doing in the middle of the fairway, Carm? Wait. It's a lake for the love of God. You got home from Spain at 7 o'clock last night, and then you got up at 5 in the morning to drive to Glen Ellen today? What'd you say? There's only two months left, right? Yeah, that's true. There's only two months left to play golf, well, why, too, my why, friend. It seems random. Like, why Village Links in Glen Ellen? I, who who are you playing? It just, it seems... Me. It was me, the assistant pro at Midlothian, Rob Stockwell. My pro, Stephen Hosack. And Peter the Greek Vasily. So random. The guy that pooped himself. <laughs> Fortunately, this morning he didn't poop himself. Uh, thank God. Yeah. This Friday, we are out and about, man. This is it. We're off and running. It's football Friday. We have a football feast. A football Friday is football co- fest or a football feast. I think we call it football feast. Football feast on Fridays I, now. On football Fridays. I can't wait. With Buffalo Wild Wings again. In the, of course, in the, our great friends in at the Buffalo great crew Wild Wings. Miller Light. Yeah. Have we gotten uh have we done the toast yet? I don't think Have so. We, got, we need to get I don't a know that we're doing that again. Uh, why not? I don't know. It but was I will, intriguing. I, calling everybody out in the far western, southwestern suburbs. Where are we at? Because a lot of times we get told, like, man, you guys go to the same places, same places. Not this year. No, this year we're bouncing around. This year we're and bouncing around. If I you think are, all the places are brand new this year. If you are in Joliet, if you're in Plainfield, if you're in South Naperville, Lockport. if you're in Bolingbrook, if you're in Lockport, we are Romeoville. At Romeoville. All our friends in Romeoville. We are going to be at the Buffalo Wild Wings in Shorewood. Shorewood. That's our location to kick off uh, football Fridays and football feasts this Friday. Buffalo Wild Wings in Shorewood Not with Miller confused. Light, and we're talking lots of bears with Pauly Shorewood, exactly, or Dinah Shorewood. All we the won't great make those mistakes. that are out there. We won't make those mistakes. Yeah. Shorewood, Buffalo we, Wild Wings. That's right. So uh, we carb. have made it to game week. We'll recap a little bit of the I'm college excited. action. There wasn't a ton of spectacular stuff, but I thought there were, I thought some teams really showed out and we could talk about some specific players when we get to our players of the weekend a little bit later on, but some good college stuff to react to from the long college weekend. I'm I mean, excited. We started last Thursday for crying out loud with that Colorado game. Football's here. Carl. Football is here. If you want to talk week one, your expectations for the bears, not just in week one, but for the entire season, we're going to give you our preview show later in the week, but if you want to drop us previews, over-unders, questions, now that we've made it to game week and what you expect from Bears-Titans, you can fire it up now. 312-332-3776. I mentioned Tom Thayer will join us. Uh, we will do the lunch rush during the 1 o'clock hour. Jesse Rogers on the Cubs and that tough game that they blew last night late to the Buccos, dropping a, a half game further back of the Atlanta Braves for the final wild card spot in the NL. Jesse will join us at 2. It's great to be back. It's Carmen and Yerk. And we're